Hello, welcome to Jars to Table. I'm really sorry I've not been around. Um, I've been so busy, it's been really difficult. Um, but we're going to do a, a really easy one today. Um, it's looking through your fridge and just deciding what am I going to get um, rid of and use up. So I'm going to do a Chinese chicken and noodle soup. Now, um, before anyone says anything, um, it isn't going to be remotely like something <laughs> that you get from a Chinese takeaway. But there's going to be a homage to it. Um, and you can use this with, uh, I'm using ugly chicken, but of course you can use um, some beef. Let me clean my thing. <laughs> but you can use beef, it's up to you. Um, so really, whatever it is you're looking at, uh, I'm also doing my... Uh, infamous uh, cabbage salad um, canned with carrots concoction that I always do uh, loads of each year um, and then you just do your meat of your choice soy sauce and whatever gravies you've got at hand because I always keep some gravies at hand I'm not going to need to thicken this because I've already got jellified um, meat stock uh, from a gravy meal that I already made and I've got some ham as well that um, I use but need using up this is literally ready in 15 minutes right so as you can see I put in the meat stock I've put in my uh, cabbage, ca uh, cabbage, onion, carrot and uh, peppers, put in the sweet corn, um, put in a bit of the ham juice I had left over and I've put in the ugly chicken with its water because it's got a, a really lovely um, uh, chickeny flavour and I'm just going to heat that up now and once that is heated through then I just add in the noodles, egg noodles that I've already made. I don't have to worry about the chicken um, shredding, so that's not an issue. And um, once the noodles have cooked, just serve it up. Honestly, it might look revolting right now, but it tastes so good and it's so easy. And let me show you something as well noodles dehydrating so I'm gonna have a mass of them I can't wait my son asked specifically for uh, thinner noodles so that's what I'm going to put in but I like them uh, kind of a centimeter wide finger finger width wide um, but I don't often do the noodles because I'm usually like um, I just can't be bothered but now I've got at least um, probably about eight meals in here uh, more probably and I'm just going to put it in uh, a glass or Tupperware jar now because we know that now I've heated it through and it is perfect consistency for my my version of um, uh, a, a Chinese a Chinese stew or soup um, but this is the consistency I want now and so um, that's not going to do is it because as soon as they add the noodles um, they're going to suck up all that moisture so um, I want to put in kind of a, a mug load probably a mug and a half if you're a tea drinker uh, of water always reheat this in a, uh, a heavy bottomed pan if you don't want it all to stick to the bottom very useful tip there I don't uh, the only thin bottomed one I have pan is um, one I water bath in so you see it's nice and very very wet uh, and uh, very watery but that's absolutely fine there's loads of salt in there um, you might want to put in some sort of uh, Chinese um, flavouring if you want uh, extra, you know, a five spice and I don't know, whatever you fancy really, uh, a bit of ginger or something or I don't know, whatever. 
I, I tend to um, put in a little splash of five spice but just I just rely on the soy sauce to be honest um, and then pop the noodles in cook for about 15 minutes and then we're ready to eat it's that simple enough we do like our noodles though but um, there's veg in there as well let's have a think probably a few bit more it's like playing with straws okay that will be enough because they will expand quite a lot So with um, 15 minutes of continual stirring, because you will need to keep stirring it um, because the noodles will stick to the bottom, but I use these, these are great. Um, and you can see it's gone back to the thick state again and it will be even more so in a minute. Um, and then it will just be a case of uh, ladling up and uh, my son will have it with some bread and butter uh, because he won't eat all of the veggies here I'll have to pick some out um, but my other son he'll eat all of this and as so will I uh, just on its own and it's very filling <laughs> 